Hello everybody, it's Mike from Patterson Photography and First Choice Photo in Lethbridge, Alberta, Canada. Welcome back to the studio. This is part two in my business builder series that I've done and I want to talk a little bit about something that's going to seem really strange and when it comes to building a business and that is saving some money. Now why is it strange? Well you may have heard this before when it comes to or earning money as an employee. That for every dollar you spend, you need to earn $2 to $5 to pay for your medical, to pay for your taxes, to pay for union dues, to pay, to pay, to pay, to pay, to pay. It's the same thing in a business. If you have a lot of expenses, you are going to have to make more money to cover those expenses. So whether you're just starting a business today or whether you have a business that's been in business for quite a while, you need to be able to cut down your expenses so that you don't need to make so much money. Now, this may sound weird, this may sound strange, but believe me, it is so true. Take a couple things from my experience in the past. First thing is, years ago when I was doing weddings, I went out and got myself a good water cooler. Because when I'm doing weddings, everybody gets thirsty, everybody wants a cold drink. So I went to a local provider and I asked to rent a water cooler. Back then, renting a water cooler was about $19 a month. And what that got you was a water cooler. And if it broke down, you got servicing from it. So I brought it in the studio and I used it for two, maybe two and a half years. And then one day I thought, why am I paying this 20 bucks a month on this water cooler? Wonder what it would cost me to go out and buy this water cooler. So I contacted this supplier and I says, what would it cost me to buy this water cooler? And they says, well, if you want to buy the water cooler, we have this special program on that for $400, you can get the water cooler. And I says, $400 for the water cooler seems a little on the steep side. And they said, well, no, no, actually what it is, is we come in and we do a complete service on it before you get it. Because it's a used machine, you want to make sure it's in the best condition. I said, well, I really don't need a full service on it. I can vacuum the cooling grates at the back and I can wash it out with bleach. I, I can do all that myself. How much would it cost? And they says, well, if you don't want all that, you can get it for $100. So I says, please, I'd like to buy it. So for hundred bucks, I bought the water cooler. How long ago was that? Well, I was trying to think before I did this video and i am come up with, it must be at least 18 years, maybe 20 years that I've had the water cooler. Still works perfect. I actually don't plug it in because most people don't like ice cold water, but it dispenses the water perfectly. And every few months I go out and I get another bottle of water, which is about $9. And I put it on there and it works perfectly. So for a hundred bucks for 18 years, I've now got myself my own water cooler and I'm not paying expenses on it. A lot of this comes from when you start a business different companies will try to get you to sign on to different programs as opposed to outlaying the cash. If you can help it, just don't get involved with it. If you don't need a water cooler, don't go, go out and rent one. If you don't need a full big photocopier sitting in your office, don't go out and rent one. If you don't need the highest cell phone package that there is for your business, don't go out and get it. There's a lot of stuff that we spend money on as a business that we really don't need to do that. So if you can help it, stop paying now. You'll find that it makes a big difference later. I went through my bills during the COVID shutdown and I found there were several areas that even with me being as cheap as I am for expending stu stuff from the studio that I was wasting money on. So I actually nipped a few of those off and said, look, I don't need them anymore. One of the things that I did was with my credit card processing. I've been with the company for almost 20 years now. When I first got to them, they gave me a really good deal that for $9 a month, I got the old credit card machine that you put the paper in and you went chin chin, and that tells you how old I am. And I got the machine and it was a great deal. Then it went to $20 a month. Then it went to $25 a month. Then it went to $30 a month. And for the last, it has to be at least 12 years, I've been paying $30 a month to rent this machine. Well, I found out that there's a company out there and several companies actually, that you can go and buy your machine. So during the lockdown, I contacted my provider and I says, I want you to come and get your equipment. I'm done with you. So they came, picked it up. I went out and for $200, I bought my own machine. Now, 
that saved me $30 a month. And just in the time that I've had it, I've almost paid half of the machine off just in the rent that I would have paid to the other company. But even bigger was all the fees I was being charged from this other credit card company. Even when I wasn't using my credit card machine, they were charging me $65 a month in fees. This new company, if I don't use it, I get charged nothing. So if you have a business, go through all your charges, all your fees, everything, and check it. Go through your phone bill. I was hired by a company a number of years ago to design their website. I went in and I was sitting in their office one day and he says, we don't even know the company that we're paying for our hosting. So I went through all their paperwork in this filing cabinet and I pulled out a ton of stuff. And I says, do you realize you're paying $500 a month for your phone? And the guy says, no, it can't be that much. And I says, here's the bill. It's $550 a month because you're paying for six phone lines. The guy says, we only use one. I says, exactly. Before I left that day, we had phoned that phone company and we said cancel all their lines except for the one line and they ended up paying $42 a month at that point. Then we found out that on their web hosting package with the same phone company that they were paying $50 a month for hosting but they were also paying a $10 a month security fee which hadn't been charged in over five years. So by the time I walked out of there that day, they had saved over $500 a month on the fee that they had been paying month after month after month. A number of years ago, somebody told me, if you ever want to start a business that's going to be majorly successful, start something with reoccurring bill payments. Start something like a water bottle rental company. Start something like Netflix. Start something like a cable company. Start anything where you are charging people on a monthly basis. After two to three months, most people will accept the charges and never question them. So as a business person, take a minute, sit down and figure out all your different charges and fees that you are getting into or that you already have and see what you can renegotiate. And on the next session, I'm going to go over how to get camera equipment and not pay through the nose. So have a great day. Have fun at your business and have a successful business day. Take care.